back. I'm here with Julie Sherado with Furry Friends Rock and Rescue. Hey. Hi, Julie. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so who is this adorable Check pup Boo we have out here? today. Check Boo out. Uh, she's, uh, she's our poster child for why to vaccinate yeah. this week. She really is. She uh, came in with her with her siblings um, a few weeks back and um, her siblings didn't make it. So we've got a lot of money into her and her litters keeping them alive. She's the lone soldier with the good, the perfect immune system, but the disease yeah. that got them was distemper. Okay. And it's a horrid disease for rescues and shelters to battle because it starts in the organs and works, it way, works its way up to the brain. And by the time that disease hits the brain and the tremors and the shaking start, it's too late if you oh. can't nip it. And and, um, you know, some dogs can fight it, most can't. So it's tough on rescues and shelters. There's been lots of crying in the last... How big of a problem the is it here in, it, in It's state. terrible, both parvo and distemper. And I think the nice winter alluded to dogs traveling more and and picking things up from other dogs, you yeah. know, out, out out in our state. And it's all over our state. So it's it's been tough, but... Um, she's got she's got some German Shepherd in her. She's got yeah. some Black Lab in her. She's got some big old hooves on her. So <laughs> we're guessing she will be a big girl. Yeah. And she does great with the other dogs in the family. Yeah. She's actually fostered with our buddy Zeus that you'll see a lot over you who have seen a lot of, and they love each other. They play all day long. She's uh, getting the hang of the doggy door and being potty trained. She's a great little dog. Yeah. Yeah. Four months old, hardly barks. Um, she's just a blessing, and she knows it's good to be alive. So She sure is adorable. She's got adorable yeah. eyes. It's yeah. uh, almost too much to look at her. Cause you yeah, she speaks to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she speaks to you, doesn't she? So this, this money you put into Boo here, I mean, how does that translate to all of the dogs you're rescuing? Oh, I, mean, I tell you what, we took in another nine animals this week. Um, more cat, more dogs and cats this week. And, yeah. you know, we've got mange and we've got giardia and we've got what we call easy diseases. But mm -hmm. then you've got the distemper and parvo that can cost you thousands. So yeah. it truly is crazy. We are truly a rescue between 14 and 20,000 every month wow. to try to keep these animals alive. And to send a lot of them out is important so we can spread out. So 14 to 20,000 dollars, is that? Yes. So tell yes. us, do you have any events going on that people can help you? <laughs> we with? do, we do, we do. You're going to see us at a meet and greet. Um, at Gateway Mall this Saturday from about 10 till 1 till the dogs can hold out and yeah. cats and kittens. Um, we're going to have a team of people going up to Dunseeth to vaccinate. We're going to drag a vet with us. So distemper, rabies, you name it. We're going to cover it all. Yeah. Next weekend, you'll see us at the Freedom Rider. So I'll talk about that a little bit more. And uh, next weekend, we're going to go do shot cleaning clinics down in Cannonball. So we're going to start covering the state and yeah. try to be proactive and get out in front Getting of these diseases. Bit. More than you have been able yes, to. Yes, more than we have. Our mobile vet unit is just about ready to go. All we're putting right. the finishing touches on it. So we're so excited to get in it, and get a team traveling yeah. all over. Absolutely. Well, yeah. you guys are doing amazing work. Thank Thanks, you, Julie. Josh. And uh, look at Boo. She's very well behaved. <laughs> Mike, uh, you have your, your brother's dog that you showed on the dog walking <laughs> forecast earlier.